What's up guys, Nick in here, and I'm going to show you guys how to unlock the Skeleton Horde Easter Egg, which is basically, it happens in this chair, you have to have the bow, so if you guys are wondering how to do that, there's a link in the description below, I made a video showing you guys how to get the bow, but this is one of the first areas, now let's listen really closely, so you have to shoot basically on the left of the glass, and this basically adds a skull to the chair here. And so there's three locations you have to do this at, and it basically will spawn three skulls there and unlock something pretty sweet. So the next area is over here by the mule kick. Now for me, it was right here in the corner, right there. I thought it was over there by the, the foul cabinets, but it was right on the right side of mule kick. And then let's go check. I like to make sure, because I like was shooting all around trying to look for it. These skulls are invisible. You can't see them until you shoot them with the bow. So let's come up here and make sure we have two and da -da -da, two. So the last skull is over by, let's see, double tap. And this one, I'm not exactly sure if it's in the corner or what area. I just kind of shot all over the place. There's actually a skull here that's part of one of the bow upgrade Easter eggs. There's a whole bunch of different ways to update each bow. So that's part of that. But I like to kind of shoot by the skull. That's where I think it is. You can kind of listen and hear it. So, I'm pretty sure I got them all. There's one way to find out. Save this one for last. And the best way to find out is to actually see if it works. So let's see what comes after us whenever they spawn in. And look at that. Now, I don't know about you, but this just like, to me, like, screams 80s. Like, it's really cool. It reminds me of, like, old school... Freddy movies, you know, from A Nightmare on M Street. There was a few of them where he would actually turn into a skeleton and chase this dude around, and it's really reminds me of that. It's kind of creepy, and I like it a lot. I think it like, I think it freak people out online that don't know about it. I think it'd be funny to like surprise your friends and just kind of do it without them noticing. <laughs> so we'll go back to the area, and um, the cool thing about this is, if you don't want to have the skeletons anymore, you can go up to the skulls and press the box button and they'll go away and the zombies will spawn back normally so i'm not sure how long it lasts i don't know if it'll last like the until you die i'm not sure we'll have to test that you guys let me know in the comments you guys tested that but it's a cool easter egg let me know if it helped you guys out like the video we'll have a lot more coming out on black ops 3 zombies dlc coming here soon talk to you later dust fly peace